is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the November 17th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered. Go ahead, let those fingers do the walking. Send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question and in our Tiger's Den. Well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Less Show. A little bit of a mixed bag here. The only indice to the upside right now is the NASDAQ 100. That's up eight points. Otherwise, the Dow's off 135, about four tenths of a percent. The S&P down seven, less than two tenths of a percent. Russell down 27, a little over one percent. Semi's off 33. Trendy's down 213. You've got gold trading out at 1868. That's up nearly one percent, 15 bucks. Silver's up 21 pennies, nine tenths of a percent at 25.16. Lightspeed crude back two dollars and 29 cents. She's printing 78. 47 lead the charge dollar wise to the upside you got amazon up 25 followed by uh, braze inc up 20 basically about 25 as well tesla up 21 novavax 17 sono group up 12 to the downside it's mercado Libre, up nearly three percent 42 bucks shopify 30 bucks are about one and seven tenths percent roku down 30 bucks that's 11 percent. that's a big stinger not as big as rivian automotive down 15 percent. that's 26 bucks to the downside of course i want to look at what you want to uh, look at let's do this here now there was a request we'll go we'll come to the request i didn't get to yesterday united health for tim so tim if you're listening uh we're going to so we'll, we'll, we'll do that during that uh, hopefully we'll do that during that uh, second uh, segment out there also I want to pass along some information garo i believe called on monday and at the end of the conversation he said uh, you know he didn't know about the td9 count, didn't, didn't have the tools for the td9 count and i've had a couple people write into me so that i could pass this on garo if you are listening there's two places where you can get access to that one would be if you have a think or swim application and uh, Mr. Bill in the Tigers Den reminded me of that. Uh, I don't recall what's the tool called on that. So if you do have a TD9, a TD9, if you have a TD Ameritrade account out there, um, it, you can get access to that software for free. You can pick up the, the TD9 account. It does not label TD9 account. I don't know if Mr. Bill's listening in or not, if he's in the audience today. But that would be one place. And the other is a, uh, a software charting application called TradingView. So I haven't used either of these. Um, you know, to, so I can't explain to you how, how, what they do or they don't do compared to what you see on my system. But those folks that are using them say that it, uh, it, it, uh, it, for the most part, the daily and the 30 minute typically work. And sometimes the interday time frames don't work, uh, don't match up to my charts out there. So Garo, if you're listening, of course, anybody else, you can uh, take advantage of that as well. Because during today's show, we're certainly going to take a look at those TD9 count patterns, both the, maybe to the upside and to the downside, as well as the key levels of support and resistance that they provide to us. OK, we've got to get taken care of the housekeeping issues out here. So where do we want to begin with first? I'll tell you where we're going to begin with is we're going to go take a look at the US dollar index. So I'm just going to change screens here. Give me a moment to do this and uh, of course what's going to pop up on the screen is not the US dollar index but it's gold and we'll come back to that 
the reason that, and obviously there's directional correlation between the two, but as you know, you've listened to the show, we have to take a look at what's going on in the other currencies as well. But I'm just going to start with the U.S. dollar index. So here you're going to see the components of it. So you've got six currencies that make up the U.S. dollar index. Euro is the biggest one that's in your upper left-hand corner, then followed by the yen, the pound, the Canadian dollar, the uh, corona, Swiss corona, and the uh, Swiss franc out there. So those are the those are the instruments that make up what the U.S. dollar index is doing. Now, there's an A to B equals CD pattern. I don't have it drawn in here. We can do it rel relatively quickly here. The A to B point is going to be from that TD9 count bottom, looks like right up to that uh, D uh, wave out there. And I'm just going to take that line and then just go ahead and put it to the C point of the A to B equals CD. So you can see that we're in the one-to-one -one area. And if we did get a, bull, a bearish reversal candle today, the one that could form, potentially could form, is a um, is a uh, bearish shooting star candle. We don't have it right now. There's too much wick. If that body gets to be too large, we also won't have it out there. Uh, but if we do get that, that would suggest some type of change in trend. Now, you can see the, the euro also, well, you can't see it, but the euro also has an A to B equals CD to the downside pattern. So I'm just actually going to get rid of this. We're going to go for the larger one now that's in place. So the larger A to B equals CD, price gets down to wave number seven. That's, that's letter G on my uh, chart out there. That's a bottoming signal. If we take a look at that A to B equals CD leg, we're just going to move this to the C point. That's going to be about right there. And so we can see that the euro also, not, not surprising here, but the euro also in that A to B equals CD pattern. So if you got a hammer candle inside the euro, so that, the euro, that would signal a buy the D point. You'd expect price to bounce up to its oscillator and change line in the 114 and change area out there. So that's what we're watching. Now, with regard to, I treat everything really the same out here. What, what does Stevie mean by that? Well, if we're gonna see a turn in the US dollar index, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go to its multi time frame charts because if we're gonna see a turn, if we get a signal on a daily basis, we should start to, well, one, if we're at a top, we should see topping signals on the intraday charts. So here, you've got a 30-minute, 60, 120, 240, and five-hour chart. Well, turns out that each of these have topping signals. In the case of the 30-minute chart, it's Rhodes Mintum Indicator Top. In the case of the 60-minute, the same thing. In the case of the 120, TD9 count. 240, TD9 count. 300, or five-hour chart, TD9 count. So everything is in place right now for the U.S. dollar index to move lower. On a weekly basis, this is going to form bar number nine of a TD9 count. Remember, on a TD9 count, that high can form or needs to form bars 8, 9 to the bar following 9 out there. So it could be next week. But we do have the signals as to what it's attempting to do. That is the U.S. dollar index. Uh, the level that I would be watching. So if there's going to be some type of topping pattern, we will begin to see levels of support, key levels of support fail. In the case of the U.S. dollar index, that first level would be 93.73. That is its TD9 breakout level. That is where price moved down to as we were coming on the air at 1 o'clock. And that has held. If there is a close below 95.73, that will be the first chink in the armor. That will then suggest price is likely to pull back to the 95.57, 95.44 area, 94.99, 95.05. Those are the other TD9 count breakout levels. Those are the horizontal red lines on the 60, the 120, the 240, and the five-hour time frame chart. So that's the that's what to be looking for. Now, most of you don't trade the U.S. dollar index, but we do want to pay attention to what's going on currency-wise, for sure. So we just start with that. Now let's go switch back over to Goldilocks. The reason why that might be important is because gold generated a TD9 count uh, yesterday. So we get back from this break. What we're going to do is we're going to go finish taking. We haven't started, but we're going to go take a look at gold. And then after gold, we'll go do United Health for Tim, who's had to wait more than a day uh, for that. So we will, uh, or really almost two days, I think. Uh, but we'll take care of that for Tim uh, in just a few. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So actually, the first chart we're going to take a look at is the uh, gold price and all the major currencies out there. And uh, many people don't pay attention to this, not not you and I, not during the one to two o'clock uh, time session out there. And, and the reason that we don't is that we don't want to trade with just partial information. You kind of, you know, think of think of a football game. Think of the NFL, right? You've got one um, you've got one offensive player and one defensive player that have the uh, speakers in their helmets out there. I've often wondered, you know, with all the hacking that goes on, there's, somebody's got to figure out how to hack into those systems out there and pass the, you know, wouldn't you like to know the plays ahead of time? Or, or you know, but in any event, and if you're the quarterback and you're watching all the defenders out there and what's going on, well, really, we're, we're the quarterback here. We're watching what the defense is doing or what the other team is doing. So gold price in euros, just as an example, it's not like there's a lot of sellers out there. Gold price in euros is at a new high out here. Uh, if we take a look at uh, gold in uh, yen, you know, made a new high yesterday, slight, like, almost got to it today. So not a ton of sellers that are out here. And so, so just want, and I had mentioned that during that first segment. So I just simply wanted to, uh, to bring it to that chart. Now let's go take a look at our, uh, our multi time frame charts here for gold. So remember, just like the U.S. dollar index we talked about, if you're going to form a, a top or a bottom, you know, you should see the same type of signals for the intraday time periods here. Well, in the case of gold, yesterday was bar number nine of a TD9 count. So, but prices above that green oscillator and change line. It's trading with inside a new profile that formed. I think we uh, we may have discussed that. So its signal is really neutral. Now, if price can close above yesterday's high, not today, but if it can close above yesterday's high tomorrow or the next day, then this TD9 count will have been negated. But if we look at the 30-minute time frame chart, that's maybe where our first uh, signal might come from with regard to a further rally today. It's got a TD9 count, and if price can close above the high of bar number nine, that is at 1870.60. We're at 1870.10 right now. But a close above 1870.60 would suggest a further rally. And that further rally then should take us to the TD9 breakdown level of 1879.50. Now, if you look at the other intraday time period, 
time frame charts out here. The 60's got a TD9 count. The uh, 120, it looks like it's going to form one by two o'clock. The 240 has roads meant to indicator top and the five hour chart has roads meant to indicator top. So it's not like gold is out of the woods just yet. And it's why we're paying attention, why I'm paying attention to both gold and certainly the uh, currency pairs out there. But speaking of gold, we've got one of our golden traders on the line. That is John in Philly. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Steve, I'm very well. Thanks for taking the call. And a nice segue into my question, which Perfect. just happens to be on gold. Okay. Very specific question, Steve. In reviewing all your tools and techniques, would you, uh, and I know you do that so thoroughly, so I know you're prepared for this question, <laughs> please share with us what tools and indicators in your toolkit suggest that this gold advance is running, it's going to keep running, and it's not going to pull back, or the pullbacks are going to, uh, you know, be brief in the blink of an eye, and go from there. Uh, I'm not asking you to predict that gold will do just that. No, absolutely. I'm not, suge I'm not suggesting that it will. I want to be prepared for that scenario. So, it, as you look through your tools, what tools or indicators suggest that outcome, please? Yeah, so the tool that I would use that suggests that outcome would be the TAS market profiles for multiple time frames. So I, on this chart here that we're taking a look at, you've got daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly. And so we can see that it looks like we will have two consecutive closes above the top of the weekly profile, which is 1838 um, this week. Uh, of course, we're only at Wednesday, but if we do close above 1838.70, that's a suggestion of a change in trend and move higher. What I do, John, is I go from weekly, then I'd go to the monthly. Well, even though we're not at the end of the month, right now, price is taking on the monthly top of its profile, and that's at 1866.10. We're trading 1869. So if we close above 1866.10 at the end of the month, uh, then for the weekly and for the monthly, we will have a breakout above a key resistance level. The quarterly chart is the one that's in the bottom right. And the quarterly chart shows that uh, prices above the top of that profile has been basically for the last three quarters. So all of these are indications, John, of a market that wants to continue to move higher. And now we step back and take a look at the daily time frame, kind of the noise of the chart. And what we have out here, as I mentioned, is we have that TD9 count top. We we're looking at the other screens out there. And we have a new bearish structured profile that took hold last night. So the key level for you and I to watch, let me just switch over just in case my synthetic chart isn't exactly the same. I just want to make sure. No, it is. Okay. So 1851.20 is a real key level to watch down because if we see a close below that, typically when you have a bearish structured profile, a close below the center indicates that we should go down and test the bottom of that profile at 1813. But the first level, 1851 is important, but that green oscillator and change line the charts that we were looking at before I took your call is price is about 1846, 1845. So that's it, those are the two levels to be watching, and then that would suggest to me that the buy point would be about 1813.60. So that's what I see when I take a look at the uh, charts out here. Is that does does that make sense? Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, that was very thorough. I appreciate that. I share with you just one observation that I made only uh, what was it 5:36 p.m. last night after I was uh, doing my end of day work and prepping for the evening and today. Yes. And this I observed uh, last, uh, I guess it was what, it was last Wednesday the 10th that we had a uh, very large move, 1825 low, 1870 high. Yeah. I think that was inflation data released that particular day. But okay. that, big, that big rally occurred, got up to 1870, and then intraday declined 27 bucks in four hours. Now, of course, that surprises nobody who trades this, given we were up, you know, we had rallied so dramatically. So 1825 to 1870, what's that, 45 bucks? Up intraday, pulled back 27 bucks intraday. No, so, you know, we, sure. uh, I certainly didn't predict that, but that didn't surprise me once I saw it. What, what uh, surprised me when I looked at my chart work last night at dinner time was that, interestingly enough, that high intraday yesterday at 1879, 
mm-hmm. declined 28 bucks, close to 27, and took only five hours. So back a week ago, pulled back 27 in four hours. Yesterday, pulled back 28 in five hours. I looked at all that pattern since, and I'm saying, holy cow, that might have just bottomed. And interesting, interestingly enough, that uh, profile data of yours, the 1851 midpoint, interesting, mm-hmm. the exact low, and there mm-hmm. we are. So I just share that observation, and we'll see where it goes. Sure. Hey, uh, thanks for that observation. Uh, wonderful. Uh, that first move back that we were taking a look at that May 10th, as price pulled back, it was the bottom of its profile, 30 minute profile that I'm looking at that held. Um, and uh, last night I didn't have really a bottoming signal other than price just sitting on that point of control where both buyers and sellers believe there's fair value within the range of 1813 to 1879. So, John, if price takes out 1879, I mean closes above it, uh, that suggests that the rally continues. I just think we're in a little bit of a cautionary time period here. Um, but uh, so, hey, thanks so much for calling. Always great to speak to you. And we'll look forward to speaking to you again. That was John Thank in you. Philly. You bet. We'll be back in just a few, folks. We're going to be treated by a call from Garo in the Yukon. We're going to take a look at Apple. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Let's go out to Garo in uh, California. He's in Yukon right now. Garo, thanks so much for calling. 
Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. How about you, Steve? Excellent. Excellent, excellent. I hope you heard uh, uh, the, uh, the the earlier segment when I mentioned there's a couple different places for you to get the TD9 count uh, patterns. Did, did you hear that? Y- yes, sir. Uh, yes, Perfect. sir. I, um, I checked with uh, TradingView that I went to their site. I liked it very much. Um, I, did, I trade with Schwab. I'm, now it's 27 years that I'm with Schwab. They're very, very good. They're ve- their charting system is very good, but I don't, they don't have that feature. And yes. I'm going to talk with one of their active trader people to see that how I'm going to get to Schwab. If not, then I'm going to go get it from that trading view. Perfect, perfect. Well, good. Glad that we could help you out. That was uh, all the uh, folks that listened in on the show, and they wanted me to pass that on to you. I, I recorded the show yesterday morning, as you probably know, at 8 o'clock, and thought I'd wait till I did the normal time frame and normal segment. So I know you called to talk about Apple, which I see there's a parabolic star dot flip uh, today. So uh, tell me what you're doing, how I can best help you. I, I've been, I was been uh, watching that for about two weeks now to see that when that uh, candle is going to hit the top, uh, top uh, dot uh, on, on, yes. on daily chart. And today it did it, and I bought it, 300 shares at $152 even. And uh, now uh, I don't know, should I, should I keep it uh, until 157 or after that is going to roll down, or this is only one day show? You know, it's a great question. And uh, so first, the, the the price target area that I have that's going to be resistance or should be resistance is 155.48. That's part of that TD9 count uh, pattern. That was the high of the TD9 count, the most recent TD9 count. So that's the that's the breakdown level. And if price can close that, then it gets back to its all-time high. So let's take a look at the positive. And so I know that there's resistance. We know there's sellers there. And we know there's sellers at the uh, highs from September 17th and that 157 level, your, your target at yes. this stage. So the yes. interesting thing about Apple, and we'll know more perhaps at the end of the today's trading session, uh, is it's taking on a, yes, well, I just, just let me switch back to a different set of charts here. It's taking on a swing point, a B point, uh, potentially of an A to B equals CD to the upside. And that's from the trading day of October the 28th. The volume on that trading day was 100 million shares. It's 132. We've been trading for four hours. We're at 60 million shares. Seems like we're going to be a little bit light. Uh, but if we do get the volume, that sets up a very large A to B equals CD to the upside. Price is trade above resistance on the weekly pro, uh, as far as its weekly profiles right now, 152.84. But this is really a coin toss here. Now, the reason why I say it's a coin toss, even though I gave you kind of the bullish and the bearish case out here, the reason it's a coin toss at this moment is because the daily time frame still has a road's momentum indicator top that needs to be respected. Not until price takes that out would we have some type of breakout. Of course, I know your question was right to the 157 level, and we'll look at the short term time frame chart just to see if there's any intraday time frame signal that say, hey, you know what, maybe now is the time to go ahead and take those profits. But it, just from my larger picture, the daily still has that topping pattern that's in place. So too does the weekly. The weekly also has a road's momentum indicator signal and wave number seven. So not until those highs get taken out, and I mean close above, will we have some type of confirmation of a, a large A to B equals CD to the upside, which might be setting up. The monthly time frame also has a road's momentum indicator signal. So all of these are reasons to be cautious. And the reason why uh, I, I shared with you, Garo, that it's for me, it's almost like a coin flip here with regard to Apple. I can make a case for it to go in either direction out here. So let's go to the short term time frame chart, see if we can assist you with that. As I take a look at a 30 minute time frame chart, I don't have any signals here to suggest that you would uh, tra- uh, get out of the trade right now. Everything looks everything looks good. If I look at a 65 minute time frame chart here as I populate this, no signals here to suggest that you get out. The 130 minute time frame chart, the same thing. Uh, the 195 minute chart, the same thing as well. So typically when we see some type of topping signal on let's say a daily time frame or getting into resistance, we would see something similar in at least in one of those intraday charts and we don't have it. But the question becomes, you know, price could easily get to 155.48. And even though uh, we don't see it on the intraday charts, Garo, that's where resistance yeah. is and price could turn down. So uh, for me, it's it is just it's a coin toss here. Um, I can absolutely see it continuing to move higher out there. But I just know that we're running into potential sellers out there. Is, uh, am I being confusing or? No, 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 it's fine. No, no, I know what you say. I know what you say. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you so know the, the signals, the signals <laughs> we would this normally is see. Go up, this is going to go yeah. up to 155. 
from I, here. I believe so. I uh, believe so. That's, yeah, that's I the can't price target. That. Yeah. I, I, can, I, can, I will sell it at 155.50 or 155.30. Okay. I'll get out of it and see what will happen tomorrow. Sure, and, sure. Uh, because it, 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 Apple is a little bit, uh, I'm very leery, I'm very apprehensive regarding this, uh, this Apple. It's not moving the way it moved a year ago or six months ago. It's, it's, so, it's very, very tricky and it's, it's very, uh, yeah, it's very dull. Well, uh, but and, very and, well. And, very yeah, well. And, uh, yeah, and I say, girl, I, I say, you, you know, your, your overview is, is really fits along with what we're seeing in the charts. I just think we're at a tricky time period here. Um, and, you know, I hate being able, I mean, I always like to take a look at both sides of the trade. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But in this case here, I can really make both sides of the trade. You know, so I'm not clear which way it's going to go. I just know that, you know, there's potential detours ahead. And so, yeah, I, so I like your strategy. I don't see a reason yeah. to sell. Uh, you know, come the end of the day, you might decide something different. But right now, um, you know, as I, nothing more that I can add to, to your thought process. There. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. That was very good. By the way, today your left eye is getting a little bit red, redder than yesterday so yes uh, well thank you th I yeah the, I, 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 I was hoping i was hoping nobody was going to see that so as you know i, I was at the mm -hmm. eye doctor on monday uh doing my uh, my quarterly checkout on my uh, diabetic retinopathy that's bleeding behind the yeah. eyes yeah. So if you don't know what that is and, and i got a really good report there and then yesterday all of a sudden my my left eye started exploding and, and when I woke up this morning, it was like I was in a big bar fight. So I'm going back to the doctor at three o'clock today. To, you know, it just one. It's it's you know, I, I, there's an infection. I must have picked it up. You know, while in the eye doctor's office of all things. So it is what it is. But hey, thanks for noticing it. Now I know that it's yes. very clear to see. Yes, sir. Uh, the, the very. I wish the very best for you. Thank uh, you. I thank you very much for your time and all the considerations. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. You bet. Thank you. you bet. Always good to speak to you. That was Garo. And uh, so let's take a Tim had asked about United Health. So let me try to get to United. UNH is the ticker symbol here. Let me get that going on my white background chart. So let me also get it going here. And I think Tim was just simply looking for levels. Uh, so, for example, support levels, which, by the way, United Health is sitting at a support level in essence right now. And that was the bottom of its profile, Tim, and that's at 450.83. If that area doesn't hold, the likely next move is down to about the 428.46 to 431.36. Those are the top of the weekly and monthly profiles out there. So when I pull over United Health, and that's a real possibility here, Tim, because United Health does have a roads momentum indicator top for its daily time frame. But price has done what it's supposed to do. Get back and test support. But support is held. Um, so it's uh, it's kind of a neutral-ish type signal right now, neutral until price would close above 466. I don't know if you're long, if you're short. What I would say is that if today, for some reason, United Health closed below 450.83, the bottom of that daily profile, yesterday was a close below that, that suggests that price is going to move to 417.80. Uh, the weekly chart is sitting at support. That's at 449.44, another key level to be watching. So, Tim, thanks so much for being patient and waiting. That's United Health. I hope that helps you out. And uh, we'll be back in just a few, folks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, by the way, in the Thinkorswim application, Dave wrote in and said it's called the sequence counter. That's it's, uh, That's the name for, in essence, the TD9 count uh, type pattern out there. So um, I hope that that helps you out. Uh, with regard to, let's get, to, I've got five questions that are in the queue here. So let me get to those, make sure we get these done by the end of the show. The first one coming in from Hector and Patty. And Hector wants to take a look at the XLRE. So that's what we've got up on the screen here. Uh, XLRE, is this uh, bull still riding to the moon? So what the XLRE has, much like uh, the Marcus out here, uh, Hector, it's got a TD9 count top that is still valid. And that TD9 count top, let me get my cursor out here, that took place on the trading day of September the 3rd. So that high is the key level for you to be watching. If price is able to close above that high, that high is uh, 48.81, we're trading at 48.23, then the answer is yeah, the uh, bull market uh, continues. It could even set up an A to B equals CD to the upside, it'd be rather large, very similar to what Apple would do out here. So right now the signal is, is really neutral because price is trading above the top of its bearish structure daily profile. It has been for the last four days, so that's a positive but it hasn't taken out that high so if you're long i would stay long out here and i would just um yeah that mean that, that but but you're up against resistance at least well that's the weekly time frame chart that i was looking at by the way so there's a weekly td9 count sorry about that not not really sorry but uh, now let's go back to the daily i think i alluded to it we were on the daily the daily has got two roads of indicator mitigator tops so one that uh, took place back in uh, September, another one that uh, firm confirmed out here on November the 4th. So again, the daily and the weekly say price is going to take those levels out. The daily is set price back to support the bottom of its daily profile at 47.46. So again, uh, here you've got a consolidation of daily time frame. So we're going to call this not so not so much bearish, but not really bullish either until price closes above those highs. So I hope that that helps you out. XR seen before making a run. For a weekly B point. Uh, yeah, that, exactly. That's resistance uh, with those topping signals out there. So we just simply respect them until they actually fail. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. Uh, Susanna, Susanna writes in and uh, Susanna wants to take a look at uh, Mara. M-A-R-A -A is the uh, ticker symbol. So let's do this here. I'm going to do that on a different chart, one that won't take us long to uh, populate. And let's also get that going on my 
black background charts, or e-signal charts out here. And so we take a look at Marathon Oil. Price right now is below the bottom of its daily profile. Um, kind of closed below it or right on it yesterday. So it's suggesting to us that Marathon Oil may want to pull back further. Profile-wise, the target is between 32.46 and 35.38. Top of the weekly, top of the monthly. But let's pull over our other chart from Mara, see what else we can do to help Susanna out. And one of the things we're going to notice right now what price is doing, this is the bad news, potential bad news, is if you see a close below 52.29, that's going to suggest a change in trend. And that change in trend should take price back to 3189. Now, yesterday, 5229, which was its TD9 count breakout level, was tested and held. Today, you're below that level. So, I mean, really, Susanna, you need two consecutive closes below 5229. But the first one says, hey, be careful out there. On a monthly basis, support out here is 3605. So, your questions are. I am long. Do I add to my position or is this going lower? So do you add to your position? I wouldn't add to your position right now, not based upon the way that price is trading below this 52.29 area. Now, what I don't have here is an intraday chart. So let me do this here. Give me a moment. We should at least provide that to you. So let me go over to another chart, M-A-R-A. -A. Get that going. We'll take a look at a 30-minute chart out there. Meantime, and the other, oh, she, I probably shouldn't have done what I just did, but I already did it. So that's the way the uh, cookie crumbles out there. But I just want to go to look at the short-term time frame charts for Susanna. What we're looking for is some type of bottoming pattern or signal. So on a 30-minute time frame, you do have a TD9 count a pattern. Don't have a confirmed roads momentum indicator pattern. What price would need to do, and I'd rather you pay more for the proof that okay, support is held and things might move higher, is I'd like to see price take out on a 30-minute basis, a TD9 count, breakdown resistance. So that's at 57.54. So real specific here, if you close above 57.54, then the answer would have been, yeah, now is the time to add. But with price below that TD9 breakout level on the daily basis of 52.29, it just says caution. Because a close below that says, you know what, add your position around 31.89. At least that's the information that we have as we speak right now. So hope that helps you out, Susanna. Thanks so much for writing in. The next question coming in from uh, Robert H. And Robert says, uh, could you give your opinion on ACB, Aurora Cannabis? Absolutely. So let's pull over the day. We've got the daily, weekly, and monthly charts out here. So with regard to the daily time frame, what we have is a A to B equals CD pattern that was confirmed with this dark cloud cover candle. You can visually see it. No reason for me to draw that in there now what price is doing it's pulling back and it's testing support and support here looks like it is at 666 so we're not down there i'm not saying price is going to get down there just yet but this is a bearish structured profile what price should do on aurora cannabis acb is get back to 769 that's its oscillator and change line because you do have that confirmed sell the d point if price were to close below 769 then robert you'd be looking at 666 that's the message from the daily charts the weekly chart message is ew, uh price is near support 4511 but if that level fails, 36.05 would be the number. The problem is that on a daily time frame, I don't have a bottoming signal, right? You go to the weekly and it says, okay, I'm at support. You'd like to see some type of support or something on a daily time frame. Don't really have, I mean, look, it's above 769, so it's a version of support, but you'd like to see that level tested. Uh, the monthly time frame price is below its oscillator and change line. So yeah, it looks like Aurora Cannabis, ACB, wants to pull back further. And if it closes below 769, it's telling you it wants to move into that uh, devil number of 660 we'll call it 667 we don't like any devils during the one to of course the devil is in the details uh really is the devil really detail oriented i'm not even sure where that comes from but uh what does it matter so robert i hope that that helps you out thanks so much for writing in dave w writes in and dave said okay dave was the one who gave us a sequence counter he also want to take a look at uh lucid and this is dave in denver lcid is the uh, ticker symbol. So LCID, let me get that rolling on the white background charts, LCID on the black background charts. That's what you have on your screen. That's Lucid Group. So Lucid Group right now is trading at 52.38. It is above daily and weekly profile. So all of that looks good. And that means what? That means why didn't it take? Okay, so let's go to just simply the daily, LCID, okay. Probably typed in the wrong symbol, but I wasn't paying attention. And uh, so let's pull this out. And your question is, please take a look at El Lucid if we have time. Oh, what did I do there? Okay, here we go. So we take a look at it. Today could, could confirm 
a sell the D point and a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. So you've got two patterns that are in play here. Now, price needs to close below the center of yesterday's candle. If it does that, then what you'll generate is a dark cloud cover candle. What that would then tell you, Dave, is that price should go target its oscillator and change line, 46.63. That's that first level of support. If that level holds, then price continues to move higher. If that level fails, 42.03 is the next level, and below that, you'd be looking at 34.52 to 36.02. So the potential for a top just depends on whether price closes and say it's around 52.65, I would guess. But I don't know, just you can take a look at yesterday's candle, just look at the body of the candle, figure out where that center point is. If you're not familiar with bullish and bearish reversal candles, if it closes below the center of that, you've got a dark cloud cover candle on Lucid, L-C-I-D. I hope that was a Lucid comment. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We got the Dow off 168, S&P's down seven, NASDAQ 136 points out there. Let's go take a look at our last question that has come in. That question is from Tim B. He wants to take a look at booking holdings. Ticker symbol out here, folks, is BKNG, and Tim is looking for an entry point. So, Tim, the target area is going to be 2297.38. Now, we come up with that by taking a look at the TAS market profiles. Price is well below the bottom of its bullish structured profile. It found resistance when it made its move uh, this month up to its highs at the top of its monthly profile, 2516, and trading with inside the 
weekly profile, the bottom of which is 2297. So that becomes the first target area. How likely is it for booking holdings to get back to that zone? Well, if we look at the daily time frame out here, what we're going to see is a TD9 count top. We also see a Rhodesman to Indicator top. Not that two tops are going to uh, be more important than one top or three tops or so on, but you got two topping patterns out there. It just tells us that sellers are like, okay, we're ready to try to drive booking holdings back to support. Well, the first level of support was 2574. No problem busting through that. Yesterday closed below its breakout level on a daily base of 2392. Today looks like a second close below that. That suggests lower price. And that lower price is going to be the bottom of that weekly profile, 2297. I'm not saying, Tim, that that's where price is going to hold. I'm saying that becomes our target area. We want to see what patterns are going on on a daily basis, well as intraday, to see if that is the bottom. Because if 2297 fails, then you can pick up booking holdings at about 1953.15, because that would become the next price target level out there. On a monthly, that was the weekly chart. The monthly chart says, hey, not so fast, guys and gals. You can't make that comment until price closes below 2314. That is Stevie's green line out there. So that's what's going on. We take a look at booking holding. So, folks, thanks so much for joining us today. The show uh, went by very quickly. Tomorrow we'll be back at the normal programming at 1 o'clock. And then Friday morning we'll record the show live uh, between 8 and 9 a.m. So thanks again for joining us. Stay tuned. You've got two more great hours left. Your favorite polar bear, David White. He's up next with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home from 3 to 4. I'll be back with you, as I said, tomorrow at 1 o'clock. So have a wonderful Wednesday, folks. We'll see you again soon.